Hey guys, welcome to Jackie Thursday, and it is food week. And for my cooking lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make breakfast tacos, but the camera I was using made my voice sound really fuzzy, and um, even though it was louder, it sounded like crap, so I'm going to be teaching it to you in voiceover. So I suppose this whole thing starts out with a skillet. You put a little butter in it and wait for it to melt. Once it has, you add your onion and, um, you know, saute it until it's covered, then set it aside and go deal with your egg. So yeah, deal with your scrambled eggs the way you would deal with any scrambled eggs, salt and pepper and what have you. Um, I'm pretty sure I slipped in here a fun fact that I did a Pepsi challenge with adding milk to the scrambled eggs pre-scrambling and couldn't taste the difference because I heard tell one time that um, it's only for color and it's not a flavor or anything, it doesn't add anything to the eggs, so um, since I'm in college and I want to save my milk for all the cereal, um, yeah, I, didn't, I don't add milk, I don't, didn't add milk. Once the onions start sweating, add in your eggs and just attack them feverishly with your spatula. Yeah, why am I telling you how to scramble eggs? You know how to scramble eggs. So once your eggs are scrambled, um, try to scrape all you can out of the pan and put it into a bowl you reserved on the side. Just so you know, this was in fact a clean bowl, um, but then I went on a tangent when I was recording this about how the salmonella is actually carried on the shell of the egg, so as long as your eggs are pasteurized, you don't actually have to worry about it unless you're eating the shells, but, you know, um... So, put a tortilla, I prefer corn, into your skillet, and when it's skittles a little warm on that one side, flip it over and add the cheese. Um, after the cheese starts to melt, it should do that pretty quickly. Pour in your eggs and... Add your HS. Another handy tip for college students, every time you go to Taco Bell, when they ask you if you want hot sauce in the bag, say yes, tons of it, and then store it in here. I'm never going to need to buy hot sauce now. Um, I'm, I'm like set for life on hot sauce, and you should use this. It works good in breakfast tacos. It works on leftover french fries. Just like, go to town, man. You're in college, you're poor. Just do it. And then you fold the taco over, and once it is cooked on both sides, you eat it and enjoy. So that's how to make tacos, and Haley wants to say hi. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you think you can find, or if you know how to make better breakfast tacos than I do, post a video response of you proving me wrong. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week, and I look forward to seeing Ben on Saturday. Bye! P.S. If you didn't give me a video response, then your comment question is to tell me your favorite breakfast food. Okay, now bye for reals.